a lot of farms will go down, will go under. Simple as that. We just feel lied to, basically. We've been sailed down the river as farmers. Brexit, I hoped, would make a big change in the way that people would buy from Britain again. But we've been sailed down the river as farmers. I can't believe that as a conser lifelong Conservative voter, I, I stand at the moment thinking I would, I would be very, very um, unlikely to vote Conservative again at the moment. We're just going to be something that they brush aside because, let's face it, for them, farming now isn't that important. Or that's how we feel. As farmers, that's how we feel. We feel farming's been brushed aside. But, again, it, it's through the back door. These imports that are happening, most people won't know about them because they will be put hidden in the food chain. Brexiteers said this would be a, brand, a great new world and we'd be able to export all over the world. We just feel lied to, basically. And I don't understand why they are so keen to throw all sorts of industries under the bus. I, mean, I was one who voted for Brexit. A lot of farms will go, down, will go under. Simple as that. There's, there's, it's just the inevitable. It, it's going to be a, a big challenge. It's like they want to sign that agreement with Australia, which is fine in a certain, certain way, but... It needs to be done in a such a way that we're all playing off the same level playing field. It, will be, it is a threat, there's no question about it. And uh, they don't listen to nobody. They don't listen to the companies, farmers, in whichever direction, maybe beef, cows, milk, sheep, goats, chickens, doesn't matter what it is. Personally, I think, but all they do is lining their own pocket. We are being made to keep our standards up here, and rightly so, but they're allowing other countries to undercut us with food of a much lower standard. You know, we, we're not anti-competition, we're just anti-being shafted, to put it bluntly. I thought about it very carefully, before the vote, obviously, and I still vote to leave again, because for the simple reason that at some point it will sort itself out. Thanks for watching. We can only hold power to account with your support. So do support us if you can by joining up on YouTube, Patreon, or through the Byline Times website.